Aloha and good evening. Welcome friends and family, faculty, staff, and leadership. And of course, welcome Hawaii Pacific University's graduating class of 2015. <laughs> I'd like to begin by saying how truly honored I am to be representing the undergraduate degree program here tonight. As I look out at all of you, I see students from other countries, from the mainland, and from right here in Hawaii. I see students who started their degree immediately after high school, and I see students who began college after gaining some real world experience. We're all so different, and we're definitely all at different stages in life, but we're fortunate enough to have at least one thing in common, HPU. During our time here, we've walked down the same cobblestone Fort Street Mall, smelled the fresh air at Hawaii Loa, and seen the development of Aloha Tower and all it has to offer future students. This school has given us so much, and I do mean more than a slight coffee addiction and some student loans. The small class sizes have provided a positive learning environment where your voice matters and one-on-one -on -one guidance from instructors who truly care about you and your education. We've been privileged with being a part of one of the most diverse student bodies, consisting of students from all 50 states and nearly 80 different countries, providing an unforgettable and an incomparable culturally enriching college experience where you're constantly meeting new people and discovering new things about others. And of course, in my opinion, one of the most appealing aspects HPU has offered is, well, its location. I will always be grateful for my time here and the fact that I've been able to call Hawaii my home for the past three and a half years. It goes without saying that I've learned a great deal while in school, but what students at most other universities can't say is how much I've learned from this Ina. It showed me that it's okay to be on island time occasionally and to go with the flow, to enjoy every moment, especially the small ones, simply because some people aren't as lucky. And we're reminded that this world can be dark at times. So as you move forward, I challenge you to be the light that this world desperately needs. Be the nurse who saves lives. Be the marine biologist. Be the marine biologist who conserves our oceans and their inhabitants. Be the engineer who builds safe roads, bridges, and buildings. Be the environmental scientist who aids in reducing pollution. Be the journalist who stands by the truth and their word. As for me, I plan to be the math teacher who works to instill excitement and a love for learning in all of my students and the hopes that they'll continue on to achieve great things and to contribute to our society, as I know you all are going to. So with that, graduating class of 2015, congratulations, and I look forward to seeing your light. Mahalo. Good evening, administration, faculty, staff, proud parents, family, friends, and of course, graduates. It is such an honor to be here to represent the graduate programs at Hawaii Pacific University. As I was reflecting on this day, a story came to mind. My senior year of undergrad, I found myself competing in the Miss Hawaii Scholarship Program, really not knowing what I was getting myself into. So it wasn't a surprise. I didn't win, but as a slightly competitive person, I decided to go back my second year. I didn't win, but I was always told that we have to keep trying and that the third time's a charm, so I went back my third year, and guess what happened? I didn't win. <laughs> so some might say that I'm crazy, but I went back my fourth year, and I was finally finally blessed to win the title of Miss Hawaii. So you can imagine how proud and accomplished I felt after all of those years of toil and sacrifice. 
So after my crowning moment, as I descended the stairs into the loving embrace of my family and friends who were offering me congratulations, my brother walked up to me, gave me a big hug, looked at me and smiled and said, get over yourself. <laughs> I know, Matthew. And while it seems like something a little brother would say, it took me, that gave me that moment to pause, to step back and reflect. And while it greatly pains me to say this, he was right. While I had won, I didn't do it alone. There were many, many people who had come alongside me to get me to that point. Just like today, while we are celebrating this accomplishment of graduation, it took many hard, long years of work and dedication, but none of us got here alone. I'd like you to take a moment to think of all the people that have gotten you to this point. Your parents who believed in you from the beginning, your spouse that offered to cook those meals when you had a late night project due, your aunt who edited your papers, your friends who encouraged your academic pursuits, your professors that answered some of your really difficult questions, and your mentors that kept you on the right path. It was not done alone. This concept of getting over yourself really tied into my time at Hawaii Pacific University. As we have heard, it's been one of the most internationally diverse universities in the United States. We've had the amazing opportunity to study alongside fellow students from here and around the world. We've all benefited from this multicultural perspective and learned that there are so many other ideas and approaches out there other than our own. It's graduation day. It's time to recognize that it is now your turn. Our accomplishments aren't just that piece of paper or that award. Use it to make a difference in the world around you. Throughout your academic career, you have been preparing for this moment. And I challenge the class of 2015 to take the knowledge we have gained and the lessons we have learned and use it to enrich the lives of others. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, life's most urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Serving others encompasses more than just doing your job or volunteering or writing a check to charitable organizations. Now don't get me wrong, those things are very important and needed. But do recognize that your daily activities can be embedded with service to others. This starts with an appreciation of the God-given dignity and worth of each and every individual and how you incorporate this attitude through every hour of your day. Giving of oneself is a privilege. It is evidence of your faith and your values. And when you submit to something larger than yourself, you'll realize your true potential, finding real happiness and fulfillment through service to others. So graduating class of 2015, tonight is about celebrating you and your accomplishments. But tomorrow, get over yourself and make a difference in the world around you. Congratulations.